Hello, good evening. Likuti Maran, Torah Haftes. We are uh, holding in the middle of, uh, actually the end of uh, Sif Dalad. And what we have established so far, that um, damaging the uh, the lack of Shmir Sabris and, and damaging the Bris causes the damage of the Murchin, of the of the intellect, of, of, of the mental capacity, the Kedusha. And as a person might be still, you know, sharp as a tack, but uh, we should all know that uh, be very clear about the fact that idiocy is an option that is open to all, including the very intelligent. So it doesn't matter how intelligent you are, or a genius, or anything. It doesn't mean that you have a seichel. We say the seichel amiti is that a person is connected to a kadosh and as we said in Teresamach. And through Gaba Bris, a person causes he's losing his margin. So this is what he says, Kenesha Yair Kinoi. Nesher is Ruach, which is the the Tivis Niv. Yair Kinoi, when a person controls it, it awakens the Kinoi, the Chochme, and the Bina. Al Guzal of Yirachef, it hovers over its its chicks. <clears throat> Gozalov is the Hebrew word <clears throat> for, for babies of birds. But the word Gozal is also um, the same letters of Gozil, of robbing. So, because Tikkun Abrit robs the Moichin, it causes a person to become mindless. And and the Neshayari Kinoi, when there is uh, an injection of whiteness, of Lavnunis from the Moichin, that you know that returns the 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 mental faculties that were robbed before. And this is the Zebhinas Tino Kyoinek Mishde Inoi. This is what Chazal said that the you know, Chazal gave three parts of the night, uh, and they said the uh, each one is is typified by a certain uh, uh, episode that usually takes place around that time. And they said that the three watches, the night is divided into three watches. The first watch is Hamur Noir, is a braying donkey. The second one is Isha Mesaperas in Bala, a woman speaks with her husband. And the third one is Tinok, a baby, uh, Yoinik suckling Mishdei Imoy from the breast of his mother. So Tinok, Yoinik Mishdei Imoy, we're talking about Al Pipshat, is that that's usually the time where. Babies wake up, you know, four o'clock in the morning, whatever it is, five o'clock in the morning, the baby is hungry and the, the, the mother can feed the baby. Over here, we're using it euphemistically as a remez to Tino Kaino Moichin de Katnas, a constricted consciousness. Shoyoinik, that it is suckling, it is sucking and it is growing, it is feeding, is developing through the tikkunakloni. What the word shdei, we said it it basically it means in 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 Russian Kurdish, it means breasts, but in Aramaic, it's it means shdei means that, that it throws. He says, you know, Shadi, throw it, Shadi, he says, they, they, we said before that the injection 
of the tipo of the uh, the male drop needs to shoot like an arrow in order to be able to produce a baby from it. Um, so so that the, the, through the tikkun akloli that is injected, yoyikachetz, mishday means that it's shooting. Imoy, imoy represents here the, 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 the bina, the zaknesio, al tovuz ki zokno imcho, the rashashi knesioscho, it says, don't, you know, don't, 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 don't be contemptuous because if your mother has become old, means Knesioscho, it means that, that, that Imoi, his mother, is a reverence to Knesio. Knesio means congregation and put together. Knesia Agdoilo is again the great congregation. This is a euphemism, the Knesio is a, is a euphemism for why? Shesham Knesia there congregates Niskansin Vinichlalin Kolatikunim. All the Tikunim gather there and and because Tikana Kloli fixes all the Tikunim. So the Imoi is a remis to Tikana Kloli, the Tinoik is Mechan the Katnus, it is it is constricted uh, consciousness, and 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 the Mechan the Katnus through the Tikana Kloli feeds and grows and is being rectified from the, from its its smallness from its constrictedness through the tikna cloni now rabino says a very very important thing with this uh we conclude the uh the um the um paragraph dalit vize ikan iskavos israel lavim shabashamayim this is the number one essence uh, that gets Am Yisrael closer to their Father in Heaven. In other words, it's through the rectification of those risks. Excuse me. Bifrinas, as it is said in Shmois, the Eso Eschem al Kalfen Sharon, and I shall carry you on the wings of eagles. Vavi Eschem Eli, I will carry you on the wings of eagles, and I will bring you to me. You already did this before, eagle, Nesha Yelkino, and the eagle awakens its nest. This is the Tikun Tikunakloli, Nishra Darucha. Because I will lift you on Kafan Isharim. In other words, when, when you, Kenishra, is the Ruach, is a Tikkun Akloni. The Bris is the Ruach, as we said before. Shu B'chinos Vayagad Lechem is Brisoy. And Kanal, I know Tikkun Abris, which is the Klalius of the Gidin. Yagad Lechem Brisoy, all the, all the, all the spiritual blood vessels. And the Daiko. Through this action of Tikkun Abris, Ravi Eschem Eli, I will bring you closer to me. Shiskarvu Elav is Baruch. They came close to Hashem is Baruch. They came to Al Sinai. Ki Ika is Karvus la Hashem is Baruch. They Tikkun Abris Kanal. The main coming close to Hashem is Baruch. They Tikkun Abris. Hello. Take a little bit of, 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 of time to speak about something we spoke about yesterday, which uh, it's something which is worthwhile bringing uh, and reiterating. Yesterday we spoke in, in, in Sipurim Isis about the, the fact that there was a king and the queen and they had a daughter, and they married the daughter off to the warrior, and they had a son, and the son was beautiful, and had hair with all the seven different colors of gold, and his face was shining like the sun, there were lights coming out of his eyes, and it, the beauty of this baby was uh, not a human, you know, in a human proportion, 
And the uh, the uh, main Nikuda is that uh, he said the baby was a total sage from get go. This is the only thing; it was a baby, yeah, but it couldn't talk. The baby couldn't talk. Uh, so how did they know that the baby was a complete sage? That was totally, you know, with full, de fully developed intellect. The answer was is that when when they said something funny, uh, the baby laughed in the place, in the places that the funny places, you know, the you know, you got the joke, as it were. He laughed in all the right places. So we spoke about it yesterday. That the baby represents Nishmas Israel, the father and the mother, obviously the Kanshbach and the Shechina. And the, the 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 daughter is the Malchus, and which has the Dinim in it again, it's married to the Dinim, married to the to the warrior. The 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 offspring is Nishmas Israel, Mafashas Israel, and they they are shining like the sun, and there's light coming out of the eyes, it's Khatma and Bina. And and all the beauty, you know, in terms of the, the hair, Dafka, we mentioned that the hair, the golden hair, black hair represents, the hair bechla represents constriction. Because if you look at the hair under the microscope, you see that the hairs are hollow. You know, the, uh, this is just like, it's like a dalak pipes. And and Al Pikabola, the lights are coming out, the, the moisturous moichin, the excess moichin in mental energy um, is dissipated through the hair. So there's different kind of places where the hair is on the scalp where it is necessary to dissipate the energy and certain places where the energy needs to be conserved. That's the reason why the payas need to have a minimal a minimal uh, size because this is where the dissipation needs to be. It's like a, you know, like a, 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 a lightning rod. You know, as it were, some excess energy can dissipate. However, the rest of the place of the head, you know, the hair, the hair needs to be very short uh, in order, in order for you know to prevent lack of undisciplined dissipation. Anyhow. Sarah Ukma, when the hair is black, this is a constriction, this is a moichin that teaches a person that when things are dark and when things are not, not um, things are not clear, uh, the, the, the black hair, this uh, represents the fact that the person is mishazik himself that whatever happens to him is for the good and it's for his benefit. Now, when the hair is gold, like David the Melech, the seven kinds of gold, means all the spheres, is when the glory of HaKadosh Baruch is being expressed, a person, a person can see, a person can, can experience the glory of HaKadosh Baruch Hu through the media. This is the the Gavos. But we're talking about the baby. And the baby is Moichen de Katnas. You know, this is the, the definition of Moichen de Katnas is when um, a person cannot contain two uh, opposites at the same at the same time. We spoke about it quite a few times. You mentioned this concept that a child that has more in the katnas cannot understand how something can be good and bad at the same time. If it's a candy and it's sweet, how can it be bad for you? I mean, you can tell the child that it's bad for, for him until the cows come home. But that doesn't mean that, that, that he or she understands it. On the other hand, um, um, Something that hurts, you know, a child cannot understand it may be good for him, like inoculation or whatever it is. A child cannot, you know, cannot possibly uh, uh, understand this. On the other hand, 
a grown up who's working the godless is somebody who is able to understand that, you know, I don't know, candy or whatever it is may be tasty, but it doesn't mean that it's good for you. And at the same time, uh, 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 you know, medication or surgery or, or an injection may be temporarily or whatever it is uh, painful or uncomfortable, but nevertheless, it is for your own good. So uh, um, an expanded consciousness is one that can contain two opposites at the same time. Here we're talking about a baby that cannot talk. The, the fact that the baby cannot talk is uh, 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 um, an expression of the fact of working the copies. This is who we are. Cannot talk. A person can find himself in a situation where he doesn't know really what gives. If a person is is you know is reflecting upon himself, what what should be and how it should be and where am I and what's going on with me and um, there is there isn't a lot of chance there isn't you know a lot of chance for a person to actually make an accurate um, estimation of where he or she really is spiritually because we either tend to you know aggrandize myself, ourselves or diminish ourselves we don't know really where we are you know as as as, um, as it says in, in, in uh, Louis Carroll says in, in in Alice in Wonderland when she she meets the uh, Cheshire cat so Alice asks the cat, you know, Cheshire Puss, can you tell me which way I should go? You know, that, says the cat, depends very much on where you want to go. Um, that's very, very nice. But there's one thing that Lewis Carroll and that particular logic, you know, does not bring into account. And that is the fact that it's, it's not enough to know where you want to go. Yes, it's imperative. But in order to know which way you should go, you need to know where you are right now. In our case, you know, when you're talking about people who are, you know, in the secular world, they have no idea where they want to go. They don't know that there is anywhere to go, uh, or any, any anywhere of meaning. You know, it's just like I mean, you go where it's fun. You know, whatever. But for us, this is obviously not a problem. Rabino says it in the first. He says he says that a, per, a person talks about not not an amistra. He says a person needs a lot of 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 Seattle de Shmaya to realize uh, where what his destiny is and what's his role in life. I was actually just uh, looking at, at the uh, biography of of Dwight Eisenhower. You know and and how Kodesh Baruch Hu puts a person and makes him realize what is what is his role in life and what it is that he needs to do in his lifetime. And said, at a certain point in time, he realized that. So he was lucky. Kodesh Baruch Hu showed it to him. It was essential, you know, because literally, you know, the uh, the fate of the world was hinged on his actions. But Ishbaruch put him and made it very clear to him what it is that he needed to do and what is his role in life. Um, so 
The Rebbe says, yeah, you need to be very, very lucky to be able to know that. He says, however, us, you know, we, I'm Israel, we don't need that. We have the Torah tells us what it is, this is where it is that we need to go, where it is we need to reach. But there's something that is still an enigma for us. And this is where we are at this point in time. And the thing is that if you don't know where you are, how can you know which way to go? How do you know which, which way to turn? The point is that we have we have this kind of uh, a guesstimation. We are like this, and we are like that, and we're off. We have no idea what Kodesh Baruch wants from us. We have no idea what happened in previous incarnation. We don't realize where we are, what kind of chalkei neshama we have from different gilgulim. Where does the nefesh come from? Where the ruach come from? Where the neshama comes from? Each time is a different kind of, of each incarnation is a different kind of, 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 uh, of congregation of particles, of parts of, of, uh, of a human soul. We have no idea, and it's not our business. The question is, when we are in a state that we don't know what we need to do, we don't know where we are, and we are confused like a baby who cannot talk. We spoke about yesterday, about the, 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 um, the answer of how should I behave in the meantime when I don't know where I am, I'm not clear about where I am, and therefore I'm not clear which way to go rests on laughter, meaning you laugh at the right places, and Mimela, you don't laugh at the wrong places. Laughing at the right places means that you are forcing yourself to be the same. Life has a tendency to drag a person down. Yetzahara wants to drag a person down. And there is a, 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 a prerequisite for a person to make himself be simcha and force himself to be be simcha at all costs, all the time. I mean, it says even use the mil you know, you know, like a, you know, word, you know, actions of, of, of words of folly, you know, to make noises of animals or whatever it is in order to you know, blow off the dust, the dust of 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 um, depression. But equally, we need to be very careful not to laugh in the wrong places, because we are prone to depression. We are prone to quick fixes to lift this depression. The quick fixes means jokiness that is wild and it's not sneezing. I mean, You know, Groucho Marx was frowning on the kind of humor that they were doing in the 60s because they were using foul languages. I mean, the, the language they used in the 60s, you know, is, is, is you know, snow white in compared to what they're using today. But, you know, the horrified Groucho Marx himself, you know, was using you know, late that was that was not sneistic. Yeah, he simply, you know, it, the mode was not, you know, to actually use foul language. You know, but the the uh, the rising eyebrows and the insinuations and whatever it is, it's like a the the risque, you know, whatever it is, was whatever it is is the 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 uh, 
national um, uh, boundaries de jour. So she was a little bit outside and people found it, you know, very giddy and very funny because people are depressed. And as we said many times, Gamma Bris is the international antidepressant. Uh, but it's, you know, it's a loan shark. You are borrowing from Dick to pay Harry, and Dick comes at night and takes, you know, the 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 the, the money back, you know, with the VIG, with a with an immense level of 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 interest. Yeah, right now in the where where things are at, it's very funny. It makes you forget about the fact that you're depressed for a little while. You know, a, a friend of mine uh, is a, a person who's not religious, um, and and he sent me something. He didn't realize it was so matter of fact in his life. He sent me uh, uh, um, some kind of a skit of a woman standing there, you know, uh, and she was uh, a funny monologue. And now she was obviously talented and um, the people that were sitting in the audience, you know, were, were, as she was saying, things that were like a little bit funny, they were laughing raucously. And I didn't realize what what was it? What was it? Why are they laughing so? I mean, it was amusing, but it wasn't that funny. Until at the very end, she let go of a truly base uh, language, and everybody just exploded. It was then that I realized, besides the fact that I was I was jarred, you know, because in my time people didn't speak like that. Um, I got I understood why they were laughing so hard throughout her monologue, even though it wasn't that funny. They were waiting. They were waiting for that moment where. This nose where the, 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 the filth is going to finally come. And this is the thing that keeps a person away from Kodesh Baruch Hu. So if you ask, say, you know, I don't know what I should do. You know, sit and learn Torah all day. I can't uh, sit and do whatever it is. I can't do this and I can't do that. Right? So in the meantime, you know, we get bored. You get bored. You're looking to keep yourself up. But the tips about so what do you do? So you look to something that makes you laugh. You have to be very careful about this. Not to laugh at the wrong places, not to laugh at the wrong things. Because Tikkun Abris is the main iscarvus of Am Israel Abir Shem 100 percent No ifs, ends, or buts about it. So you don't know which way to go. You can't make his very little. You can't talk to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. What, For whatever, it doesn't matter. Keep yourself away from the wrong kind of laughter and keep yourself close to the right kind of laughter. Because if you don't, if you, you're not forcing yourself to be besimcha in the right places, inevitably you will make yourself besimcha in the wrong places. Let Hashem, with this, we'll conclude tonight. Let Hashem, tomorrow night, uh, we will learn in the Breast of the together to your Samach. I thank you very, very much for being with me tonight.